So we got this tank right here underneath the deck, which they already took a part of the deck out. The problem is I got to spin with this machine and it, this railing is still in the way. So we gotta now take that railing down. Um, and then, yeah, this is tight, man. We got, a, got the overhang of the roof right here that we gotta watch out for. We don't wanna hit that. So this is a, this is a tight job. back with clean material to back okay. for the hole right. um, and then, you know we'll see what yeah. the condition of the tank is if there's any holes we may have to take samples but I think you're gonna be fine okay. as far as the, uh, the soil under the tank looks clean okay. we're cleaning out the inside of the tank right now it's uh, the tank was filled in place but it wasn't clean properly. So this is what happens now, the stuff that's inside the tank, which is like a stone sand mix, is all contaminated. It's got a real heavy odor. So we can't just put that back in the hole. We're, we're taking that away. So we're putting that in the back of the truck right now, get this tank completely clean, and then we'll remove it from the ground and we'll see the condition of the uh, soil underneath it. I don't really have a lot to hold on to on here, so we have to chain it up. <laughs> Especially in a situation like this, because it's such a tight access job, you know? Oh, yeah. DSM number. That's perfect. Contaminated? Yeah, yeah, and and we, we should be able to close out the permits without the DP involved. Okay. Because otherwise it's thousands and thousands yeah, of dollars. No. So we're trying to. Like to not do. Yeah. yeah. And, and time too, because then you yeah. got to deal with, you know, right. and phase and all that stuff. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, this is the stuff they look for. The little corrosion holes. And then, I mean, it's obvious that there was no discharge. So, uh, okay. you know, we'll see what he says when he gets here. of a tank that was previously filled in place when it was filled it was not cleaned out okay so the oil was probably about a quarter tank of oil in here and they just threw sand in it the sand is now contaminated so we have to then we had to get inside the tank dig it out okay now we cleaned it all out pulled it and you can see here you got corrosion holes but the problem is a lot of contractors what happens now they see holes in the tank 
they're gonna fail it. They're gonna uh, call it uh, the DEP and, and call a case number. Once you have a case number, it costs a fortune to close it out. There's no contamination, so there's no reason to call a case number. And uh, that's the way we handle it. Inspector came. I told him there was no uh, discharge. I told him the soil looked clean. He agreed, he passed it, no case number involved, no sampling required, and we'll be able to wrap this up and it's just a tank removal job, so it worked out really well for the client.